charcoal. Charcoal is not my favorite medium, mainly because I'm a messy person. So the beauty of charcoal is you can get rich, rich blocks. The disadvantage of charcoal is it smudges like crazy. Okay, so first of all, this is a little piece of um, vine charcoal. It snaps very easy. And charcoal is burnt wood. I guess it's wood. I don't really know. This is a little bit of burnt wood. comes right from our fireplace. And, um, and you can draw with it. Voila, charcoal. Okay, so you can also buy charcoal. And charcoal comes in like a pencil form like this. There, you see how it says charcoal. There we are. Charcoal comes in, like I said before, um, vine charcoal, and I believe this is like a twig or something, and it was just burnt, burnt at the right temperature. And, um, and it makes this nice dark charcoal color, which is beautiful. And then um, it comes, this is a thicker piece of charcoal, and again, it snaps pretty easy. And, uh, yep, and nice and dark, 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 dark charcoal. There we are. And charcoal also has different hardnesses to it. Yeah, it's turned the right way around. Here's some... Um, this is a uh, general, and we have like a, a hard charcoal. They call this one HB. And um, then we have the uh, 4B. It's a bit softer. And this one here is 8B, uh, 6B, sorry about that, 6B. And um, the uh, softer the charcoal, the darker it'll be. Like our hard charcoal won't be quite as dark. A little easier to control. Has a nicer tip. Stays sharp longer, but not as dark as our dark as our softer charcoal. Charcoal also comes in a square. Look at that. There we are. That's charcoal. That's a big huge piece of charcoal. Now, another thing that you can do is have powdered charcoal. So, I'll just show you. Okay, so I've got a little piece of sandpaper. And I'm just going to rub it onto the sandpaper. And now I've got this powdered charcoal. That's kind of fun. So lots of different types of charcoal. They all do different things and they're all very, very messy. I have to wash my hands a lot when I'm using charcoal. The advantage of the pencil is it keeps your fingers clean. The disadvantage of charcoal is when you sharpen it, when you sharpen it, It frequently breaks off in the pencil sharpener, which is extremely annoying. So, you may want to use the sandpaper to sharpen it. And you just sand away the wood of on the charcoal, and it becomes sharper. There we are. There, that works not so bad. Now, and the advantage of um, these charcoals without the wood is you don't have to sharpen it, which is really nice because sharpening is a pain. Disadvantage is you get your fingers all dirty. Okay, now another important tool with charcoal is your eraser. This is a kneadable eraser. There, it's kneadable. It's, uh, you, um, 
pull it out and knead it in. So how this works is I will push my eraser down onto the charcoal. I can rub it a bit. Now I knead that charcoal right into the middle of the eraser. And now my eraser is ready to be used again. So I can even draw with my eraser. Yep, forgot to knead it. As soon as you don't knead it enough, it doesn't work anymore. There we go. Knead it in. Knead it like bread. Yep, just knead it. Use it, knead it. Use it, knead it. Now I just want to show you what the kneadable eraser looks like when it's new. So the kneadable eraser comes in a little square like this and it's um, gray and when you unwrap it, this I usually pull it apart so it's not so big. I find it easier to handle a smaller piece of eraser and then instead of the big huge piece. Okay, now the next important thing with charcoal is its papers. Paper from a pad, something like this. This is a uh, colored paper. I'm not sure why they have black because um, maybe you can use some, this you can also use for Conte. But um, I do tend to like the uh, white papers, obviously, because there's pretty much none left. And um, this paper that I'm using here, it has a little bit of a tooth. And the tooth means that it has a bit of a texture, has little bumps and valleys. This is just regular paper, and this one's very smooth. This one's regular. Let's try the regular. Just a regular piece of paper. Get this paper all dirty. All right, let's get this regular piece of paper, and let's see what the charcoal can do. See how I do at drawing a squash here. Well, that's working pretty good. I do like the um, vine charcoal instead of having to shape, have to having to um, sharpen my uh, pencil, my. Um, charcoal because it's really hard to sharpen. Yeah, the charcoal isn't doesn't really stick to the smooth paper as well as the textured paper as I'm finding out. Oh, that's a little not quite as nice as the textured paper. There we are, okay. But it does smudge so beautifully charcoal. So let's try. I've got this uh, piece of charcoal paper here and as I touch it, of course I get fingerprints on it because my hands are dirty. Now, let's just do a simple sphere. Yeah, it this um, the charcoal sticks sticks to this paper, so it's really nice to have a little bit of a texture or tooth. Um, smooth paper doesn't work as well with charcoal. Notice how I'm using it on my on the side. So when I'm um, working with it really lightly, you can see the texture. You can see how the texture is showing up. Now another tool that's really important with charcoal is what is called, um, I call it a smudge stick. I think other people call it different names. This is just what it is. It's for smudging. And so I'm going to just put it on its end and I'm going to push that charcoal into the paper. And it gets rid of um, showing the texture. So I'm just going to use this smudge tool over top of my 
sphere here and push that charcoal into the paper. Now I've got a little bit of charcoal right on it, on the smudge stick. So I can actually draw just with my smudge stick. Okay, now notice how messy it got, which is pretty common for me. Now I can get my kneadable eraser. Let me see if a regular eraser will work on it. Okay, now I've got a, a, just a regular eraser and um, as we know from before, regular erasers, they erase everything. Kneadable erasers, the kneadable eraser here, it lightens. So I need to get rid of this completely, so I'm using my eraser and it just erases it. Now instead of brushing it off, which will smudge it, I'm just going to tap that. There we go, get rid of the eraser dust. Now, I'm not liking how um, my sphere is in the middle, so I'm just going to use my kneadable eraser and lighten some areas. And I'm going to use my finger and just smooth that out. Okay. we are. Now I'm going to use one of my charcoal pencils and I'm going to use the HB and I'm going to put a bump on this sphere. Here we are, a little bump. I think I'm going to go back to the vine charcoal or this little piece and I'm going to shade this little bump. Looks like I've got this darker down here too. Since the beauty of charcoal is dark, we're going to get it nice and dark. I find it easier to smudge with my fingers. There we are. Good. Now, I have a lot of dust on here, so instead of brushing it away, if I brush that, it'll just smudge. So I'm just going to tap it. See, there's all that dust. You can also blow it. Now the next important thing is, once you have finished your picture, um, I'm going to clean it up, and I'm just going to pause you for a minute and wash my hands, because I can't clean up my paper with these dirty hands. Let's make a dip in this sphere, and I'll use an eraser. Yep, that's erasing. There, I'm going to use my needle to lift. Oh, I think the needle is working quite a bit better. There we are. Get some vine charcoal here. I'm going to shade it on the opposite side. Make it look like a dip. Now, let's say, oh, this is the best picture ever, and we are going to clean it up, and I'm going to show you two ways in order to preserve your charcoal uh, picture, because if you just leave it like this, it will get completely smudged. So, the first way, what I like to do is I'll get a piece of tissue paper, 
and I'll put the tissue paper right over top without uh, smudging it and I'm just going to tape it on and just like that and now if I put it on something it won't smudge so that's the first way the next way to preserve your charcoal pitcher is to use something like a fixative I couldn't find a fixative but I find this um, crystal clear coating um, works just as well uh, also hairspray works pretty good and it's a bit toxic so people who are sensitive to sprays and stuff should do this outside and you just spray this there we are give it a good spray there we go wait for it to dry now you try to erase that and it will not erase let's give it a try just to make sure just to test it nope not coming off so that's charcoal in a nutshell. Enjoy your charcoal drawing.